What's up, YouTube? Making a quick video of feeding video of my tarantula. I'm feeding him that cicada, and I I cut off his little feet. I cut off his wings. The only, the only problem is now that he could be pa carrying parasites, so I need to be careful with that. I can't really be careful with it, but it's either I give it to him or I don't give it to him. I could eat it. I did get Eco Earth for my tarantula and frog. I don't know if you give Eco Earth to the tarantula. I saw in Petco they had a uh, Chilean rose hair and <clears throat> he had Eco Earth. So, a quick update on my tarantula. Can I, I'm, I'm guessing that means he's ready to molt, but he never kicks hairs, so it looks like there's some hair missing on his back. So, if anyone could tell me why there's mis hair missing on his back, but he doesn't kick hairs. Uh, that would be really helpful. Helpful. Look at the poop. I gotta clean that. But he's like, oh, ooh. yeah. Eat that thing. You know, I'm just, I'm just hoping there are no parasites. Please, God, be, please be there, be no parasites. Please be there, be no parasites. Please make their Make it have no parasites, please. I don't want any parasites. Oh, if my chair said were to die, were, were to die, I would probably be very upset. It looks like it's enjoying it right now, so. I sprayed it off pretty well with the uh, mister I have for my frog. I cut off its wings, I cut off its little feet. So you can't scratch it. See, if you look, they're just little nubs now. So, I just hope he doesn't have any parasites. As I read online, you can give your tarantula um, these, you just have to be careful. Because they do have a thick outer shell, and they could carry parasites, but I don't think anyone in our entire yard sprays um, um, pesticides or anything. Because we live in the woods, so how are you going to stop all the bugs? And these things usually live in the trees and stuff. I found him on the ground because he was flying around a uh, light post. And he hit it and he fell. Look at the web right there. I'm sure he's about ready to molt though. Because it does look, you can see, it looks kind of shiny. Right there, but I could be wrong. Pretty big tarantula. Put my hand next to it. It's pretty big, nice and fat. This is a very first time and a very last time for me. So I do not want to risk giving it parasites. But what I think is, like, I give it crickets from outside all the time. So this must be the same thing. This is my second tarantula. The first one died because I was only uh, like seven years old and. I didn't know how to care for it, but now I know how to care for him. I'm 16 now, he's 8 years old. So. Very first time, very last time. And see this water bottle? These were really f meant for lizards, but I bought it at least, um, I'm going to say, nine years ago. And he's eight years old, so I had it for maybe a year for the other tarantula. And I don't need to refill the bowl. It doesn't look very nice in the terrarium, obviously, but I don't need to refill the bowl. That is a good thing about it. I think he likes it. I'm getting a sense that there are no parasites in it, but you never know. Alright, see you guys later.